Hey makeup lovers, so today is going to be a pretty big haul, so I'm going to get right into it. Some stuff I bought today that I haven't tried out, and some stuff um, I, sorry, <laughs> and some of the stuff I bought last week and I've been trying out. So, let's get started. I was, I've been in a hunt for a, um, for new brushes. So, um, I got two Sonia Kashuk brushes, I guess these are from her, um, new line because her old line was with this packaging um like this blackish grayish um chrome color and um yeah i hate this brush i was on a hunt for a synthetic um uh, buffing brush and i thought that this would do the job but no this is good for cream blushes or cream bronzers that you just want to um or pat on and gently blend yeah perfect but for foundation, BB creams, it sucks. It's um, too small. It's um, too dense when you want to blend in. It leaves streaks. I hate it. Um, so, yeah, wouldn't recommend this brush. But um, I absolutely love this brush. This is the Synthetic Buffing Brush. This is the number 130, N130. It's synthetic hair, um, apply any cream product in a circular buffing motion for a flawless airbrush appearance. So, her new packaging looks like this. It's um, uh, silver right here, white, and then it has the number right there at the bottom with a little black tip. So, I really like this because it's handy uh, that it says the um, number at the very bottom. Because when it has like the names right here on the handlebar, it tends to um, fade away sometimes. But n that it's on the very tip of it, I really uh, like the style of her brushes. So this is the Synthetic Buffing Brush. I really like it. It's super, super soft. Um, I have never had a problem with shedding with uh, Sunny Cashew brushes. So I hope that these don't shed. I doubt it. But I absolutely love how this brush looks and feels. Um, it's really nice and rounded. Um, it doesn't seem, it's like, it has a little bit of dents, but not so much dents where you can push down and you can easily blend. And I just can't wait to try this brush out for my BB creams, my tinted moisturizers, because I don't really like to use foundation in the summer, but I want... A brush where I can buff in my BB creams or my tinted moisturizers just to give it a little bit of more coverage or that flawless look so I really can't wait to try this one out so um, the next one that I got was the small dual fiber multi-purpose brush and this is number 124 now this one looks like it'll probably shed a little bit but not that much again the same style has a number at the bottom number 124 and my camera's on low battery, so I gotta hurry up. Um, but yeah, I love this one. Um, dual fiber. It kind of uh, it's kind of um, larger at the bottom, goes thinner at the top with less hairs at the top. It kind of has like a domed, uh, not a dome, but it just goes thinner, um, less shape at the top, so you can really get into areas. I love this. I've been looking for a really good bronzer brush because I got this one. This is also from her new line. This is the number 113 and this is the angled brush. Now I used this for bronzer and didn't really like it because it's too fluffy. Um, it's too big. I it just It's just messy. I didn't really like it. Maybe for blush um, or for just blending it out, yes. But to place that color in there, um, and blend as well. I really uh, think this is going to do the job. It's really small. It's perfect for highlight because you can do it um, sideways and you can really get into that area. Um, also right here on your cheekbone just to for your bronzer highlight. It goes right in the middle of your eyebrows, down your nose, this area. It's just perfect and it just goes in all those little places so I can't wait to try this out. And the last thing I got from the Sunny Kashuk line is the Radiant Tinted Moisturizer um, SPF 15 sunscreen and um, it's UVA and UVB protection so I can't wait to try this out it's gonna be perfect for summer again I don't like to use foundation in summertime and mine is in beige so yeah I saw this um, on one of the YouTube girls she did a um, 
first impression on this. I think it's Purs, Purs Buzz. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah. I had to go out and buy it right away because I'm a big fan of Tinted Moisturizers. So, it's per a little bit expensive, but um, yeah. You get enough. You got a big bottle, a lot of Tinted Moisturizer, 1.75 fluid ounces. So, yeah. Can't wait to try this out, especially with my new brush. Another thing that I got was a bronzer. I'm on a hunt for a really good bronzer. Any suggestions, please message me or let me know below. Um, I've tried out a lot of bronzers from the drugstore and I'm just not happy with it. I don't know if it's just I'm picking the wrong color. It's not dark enough. It's not pigmented enough. But I picked this one um, from the Fit Me line from Maybelline. And this is in medium bronze. And I just now swatched it and it's just not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna look so it I don't know if I mean it's barely showing up on my skin tone on my hands I don't even know if you can see that but um, yeah I don't think this is gonna work out for me so please any suggestions let me know ASAP because I'm on the hunt for a new browser and the last thing that I got today was this lip balm with benefits from NP Set. And this is Embaja. Now, um, this is supposed to be a lip balm and lip tint. So it's supposed to leave your lips tinted. And it's supposed to hydrate, has vitamin A, vitamin C. Vitamin A, vitamin C, shea butter, and vitamin E. Um, I thought it was going to be more red. Like, it shows that it's a really bright red, but it's not as red as you think it is or as, as it shows up. Um, this is the exact color that I have on my lips right now. And um, you have to really, really... Um, up apply about three or four times with your finger just to get that right color um, so it's not as pigmented either it's smooth but it's not as creamy um, and I mean just with one swatch in there I mean look how sheer it is you know I mean it does say that it's it's sheer but I I just thought it would be a little bit more pigmented um, so far I don't know about the leaving a tint um, but I will see in a couple hours and see if it really does leave a tint so if you want any reviews or um, want any of my opinions on anything um, message me leave a comment below and I will do so okay another thing that I got last week is the Milani baked blush and I've been wanting to get this for a while and I got it in luminoso number five and this is a perfect summer blush. If you are out there looking for the most perfect summer blush, I recommend this. It is so pigmented. I have it on my cheeks right now, if you can see. Um, it is just that perfect peachy pink, baby pink color. And I absolutely love it. That's how it looks like. And I'll swatch that for you. So absolutely love this color. I mean, I've been using it every single day since I bought it. And I think I'm going to go get one more just to have as a backup. So can't. I'm going to be using that every single day for summer because it's just that perfect color. Um, okay, and the next thing that I got is the Remel Stay Matte Powder. Whoops, I don't like the packaging on this. But yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this powder. Just haven't had the time to go buy it and try it out. But I absolutely love this. I haven't changed my powder since freshman year. I've been using the Neutrogena Mineral Shears um, Loose Powder Foundation since freshman year till now. And I just noticed well, a couple weekends ago when I went to the club and one of the photographers took a picture of me and he sent it to me. My face looks so shiny right here on my T-zone area and right here. I was just like, it's time to get a matte powder. And I, a lot of people read about this, so I went and got it. Mine's in Nude Beige. And um, I have combination to oily, uh, combination, dry to combination skin. So my cheeks are really dry, but down my T-zone area, 
it gets oily. So I really like how this uh, has natural shine control for five hours. And I've been using this powder every single day and I absolutely love it. Haven't had a problem with it yet. The next thing that I got is um, the Maybelline Instant Age, Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Streaming Concealer. And this is the brightener. I uh, absolutely love this. It has a little sponge uh, tip application, uh, applicator at the top. Um, and you twist this. I thought that you can just glide it on, but really you have to tap it in just to get that uh, product out. But I really love this. It really does brighten up um, that under eye, uh, dark circles. Uh, if you didn't have enough sleep, really brightens up right away. Um, so yeah, I really love this one. I want to go back and get the concealer concealer that's like my color. Uh, but I absolutely love the brightener just for those days that you're just like, whoa, not even the concealer's doing this job. You need a brightener. I recommend this. Absolutely love it. Been using it every day. And the last thing that I got is these two nail polish from Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Hard as Nails. And these are some really pretty pastel colors. Absolutely love them. Perfect for summer. So I had on pink mint sorbet number 340 and that's why i don't have any color on my nails because i just took it off but i absolutely love this color it is amazing and what i really like about this is my nails are really fragile they will crack and they will break off just by any little thing that i do and this nail polish lasted two weeks on my nails without chipping washing my bathroom washing dishes did not chip off and made my nails hard as a rock and they actually grew so I love this. I'm going to try out this pink one today. And this is Coral Reef in number 405. If you go to Walgreens, you can get these two for $5. So it is a perfect deal. So that is my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you need me to do any reviews or you want, um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know on a comment below or message me. Bye, guys.